NASA is giving another update on the long-awaited launch of its massive new moon rocket. Yesterday, the agency completed a major milestone for the pre-flight test, fueling up the SLS rocket. This was NASA's fourth crack at it, but once again, not everything went smoothly. New 6's James Barvero explains why the latest hiccup could delay the launch even further. At T minus 29 seconds, we have a hold and a cutoff. Cutting off the final countdown, about 20 seconds short of what was planned, NASA is still calling Monday's fourth wet dress rehearsal a success based on reaching other objectives. For the first time in all its tests at Launchpad 39B since the spring, NASA says it fully fueled its most powerful rocket ever, the 322-foot Space Launch System. Monday's testing not wrapping up until after 7.30 at night. A long day for the team, but I think it was a very successful day. Accomplished a majority of the objectives that we uh, had not completed in the prior white dress. Artemis One launch director Charlie Blackwell Thompson says another hydrogen leak was discovered Monday, like in an earlier test, and that issue will need a closer look. Still, the mission managers say SLS is closer to launch than ever before. But in Tuesday's teleconference, NASA could not answer if that first launch will be delayed even further. August was the most recent launch target. I think there's a huge amount of pressure on the team, but I also think they're professionals. They've been working with this for a long, long time. They want to get it right. So I think they're being very cool and collected about this. They're going to look at all the data, figure out what's the best path forward. NASA says making a final decision whether another test will be needed should take a couple of days. We'll update you then. At NASA's Kennedy Space Center, I'm James Sparvero, getting results news six.